who was in charge of that was Vince McMahon Sr., which was almost night and day between uh, junior and senior. Junior does. He wants to do everything. And I don't know why he didn't match up, which is another thing. I never understood why Andy Kaufman never went to WWWF. He was turned and I down, think that, I believe. Well, he, and he was turned down by the father, mm-hmm. not Junior, not Vince McMahon, uh, the one we know. He, was, he would have been brought in by him in a heartbeat. Now, Jerry Lawler told me a story one time. He's on the plane, the private plane, that sometimes that Vince would fly between the cities if they were like 200 or 250 miles apart. Sometimes Lawler would get invited to join along. And he says on one of those trips, Vince looked at him and he said, you son of a bitch. He says, I hated when uh, Andy Kaufman went to Memphis before he came here. He said, I hated that. But he would have been in, I think, in WWE had he not got sick and passed away. I think he would have been there. Because, I, you know, just Memphis saw him and just the hardcore wrestling fans. But they heard about him by all the local news. Oh, Andy Coffer was beat up by a local wrestler in Memphis, and they showed that clip. You know, that made that clip there and and Lawler slapping Kaufman made the top 100 moments of TV history. Mm-hmm. I'm walking through a mall one day and it said that and they had all these TVs lined up across the wall. And it said, here are the top 100 moments. And I looked and one of them was playing Lawler slapping Kaufman on the Letterman show. So to be included in the top 100 moments of TV histories is a pretty high achievement. It's a top achievement, really. Mm. So, but I think he would have been in WWE uh, had he had he not got sick and passed away. Yeah, I think so. He could have played a huge part in WrestleMania One with all the celebrities they were bringing in with Lauper and Mr. T and everything. 